Takashi 6 9 Oh no, fuck no. He's not my favorite rapper or anything. <laughs> so anyway. So it was reported, well, you know, he's locked up. Yeah. But it's reported that apparently um, he's been transferred uh, to a federal facility that is regularly used to house witnesses who cooperate with the feds. I mean, you already knew that he was going to start ranting as soon as it hit the fan. Like, first of all, you just don't fit in. You know what I'm saying? Like, this just. But he got the he got the sticky with the blicky. Like, you can make all those voices. <laughs> icky with the sticky eye. Uh, whatever the fuck he was singing. But when you looked at the videos, it was a whole bunch of niggas and one rainbow head Mexican. You definitely not going to believe that he's the leader of the clique. Like. But he said, I got the sticky with the blicky. Yeah, he, but yeah, yeah, he got the pen with the paper on. Uh. I mean, that's the only song I know. So. Yeah, so at the end of the day, I, I just knew, like, as soon as it came down, like, he got kidnapped, and then <laughs> Treyway Shoddy <laughs> booked this nigga for a $2.5 million show and only gave him 300000 of it. And, and then Takashi go on. Uh, Breakfast Club talking about niggas trying to kidnap his moms <laughs> and all of that little shit. Come on, man. He thought he was getting away with being a culture vulture. You know like, what I'm saying? He thought everybody was cool. Like but, He's like, I'm the uh, Mexican with the, yeah, the funny hair yeah. and they love me. But the culture actually <laughs> vultured him. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this nigga's sweet. Let's tie him up. You know what, <laughs> what, I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... And then, then he come out, oh, I fired everybody, fuck Trey Way, this and this and that, this and this and that. Nah, nigga, the feds ain't. <laughs> that still, shit ain't gonna work up. You done hung with the gangbangers you all on Instagram. You in Chicago. You, you know what I mean? You might have been fucking police the whole time. Yeah, I was thinking about it, right? Because apparently now his lawyer's saying that it was all of a side that he's not really a, a gang member. We he knew was- that. Yeah, but you know, you know, I've seen it where people take up for artists, talk about, you know, it's just music. Is it? I'm trying to figure out. You know, a lot of times they like to compare it to movie stars. Mm-hmm. But the difference between movie stars and rappers, with movie stars, they do interviews. Yeah. They like Tom Cruise. They not yeah. uh, the dude from, uh, what's the movies again? Whatever movies in. Mm-hmm. So they act like themselves. Yeah. Whereas rappers, they like, I'm a gangbanger on, on the wax. wax. So and then when they do an interview, interview, they be like, I'm still a gangbanger. Yeah. And they say they're a gangbanger all the way up Listen. until they get locked up and then all of a sudden he's not I a gangbanger. I knew that Chikashi <laughs> was sweet as Mexican pumpkin pie. I mean, yes, he got a 6'9 on his forehead. Like, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, it was nothing you was going to tell me. That this rainbow head Mexican motherfucker was walking around Brooklyn smoking shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 like I, I'm just keeping it all the way of being. Like, you just couldn't imagine the rainbow no, hair dude. Just- like, like, I just want everybody that's watching this, <laughs> and I don't give a fuck what hood you from, from Alaska to Nebraska, Maine to Spain, Turkey to Albuquerque. I don't care where you from. When you look at Takashi, <laughs> do you really think that he out here shooting shit up? <laughs> Neither did I. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it makes a little sense. Like, if if you got like if you like the only rainbow haired Mexican, and you shooting stuff up, you're easily identified. Bro, but <laughs> first of all, don't nobody want to hang around no rainbow haired Mexican. Oh, let, let's stop and say there's nothing wrong with Mexicans. He just happens to be Who Mexican. said that? I said that. All right. But what <laughs> I'm saying is, I'm not hanging with no rainbow head Mexican ever. You got him out here jacking up non Trey. Does he just put a whole lot of fucking disrespect on East Coast gang life? But he wasn't a gang member. But he was representing it. He was he was jacking Andre, Andre gangster. He was jacking that in there. Billy, that's what that Billy shit mean. Man. So like, like if he does wind up ratting, he already read it. Is it? Is he it, already read? Is, is it? I guess Treyway's fault that they 
let him into Who the Who the fuck else fault is it? <laughs> like, what the fuck did he ever do in his short existence says that he deserved to represent a black gang? Like, the motherfucker almost went to jail for statutory rape and molestation. To my knowledge, when you do those type of things, bad things happen to you in the jail and on the streets because you a fucked up person. So how the fuck did he ever get into a gang after touching kids? And then you got him repping your gang. He get beat up at LA at the airport. Niggas is punking him on tour. You got all this beef because you let a rainbow head Mexican join your gang. So yeah, I but if the, if if the if the rainbow hair gentleman is getting two point five a show, mm -hmm. and you get to keep two point two, that's why you keep him around. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm just saying, it sounds like that's that's a good investment. I until mean, if until you, shit hits the fan. We gonna have the rainbow hat Mexican around just so we can rob him for ninety eight <laughs> percent of his royalties and monies. Then by all means, Tukashkashki, Kibaski, what's the fuck is his name? Well, they said that's, what the yeah, fuck is his name? I mean, that's that's why they said Chris Brown got to throw up. You know, he was Sue Wu and everything because he oh, because he, he was he was Jack and Brim because he was he was paying the he, he was paying to be down. He probably was paying to kick it with the homies. <laughs> you know, what I mean, that's quite possible. But this Tukashi shit is something different because you mean to tell me. This nigga was answering phone calls for Takashi. Like, my folks be calling, <laughs> yo, hello, this Treyway. Treyway! <laughs> yo, uh, we looking to book the Rainbow Head Mexican for a $2.5 million show. Oh, all right, son, we got you. <laughs> Just send it on over. And then they call him up, yo, what's up, son? What's up? Hey, they want your Mexican Rainbow Head ass out here for 300000 <laughs> And don't forget that you owe me ten percent. <laughs> so he really smoked him. <laughs> you think he really still got the ten percent off the thing? Yeah, man. <laughs> he really smoked him for like two point <laughs> two three of those monies, man. Yo, Takashi a nut, bro. I, all this shit that's happening to him, he deserve it. He deserves every <laughs> minute of it. He deserves every minute of it for fucking. <laughs> Being a culture vulture for promoting gang activity that you're not a part of, for touching kids, for all that bullshit, for all the shit he done did, just in the realm of hip hop, he deserved that shit. Karma's is a motherfucker, huh? Listen, bro. This motherfucker has violated more than Bobby Schmurder, and Bobby Schmurder got his whole team cooked. <laughs> You know what I mean? He, Caught a body by the wicked. Listen, dog. Listen, dog. The nigga, the nigga was like. Bitch, <laughs> got my nigga smurdy, female, female. Bitch, got a body by the And then them niggas booked Mitch for the body he caught by the wicked, dog. You know what I'm saying? The nigga said, I'm with John John, I'm with Sasha, I'm with A Rod. A Rod, <laughs> ninety eight and a half years. Sasha, Rasha, fifty six and a half years for letting the thing bark. Thanks a lot. Let me ask you a question though. Mm -hmm. Seriously though, what about it? It can't be about <laughs> right, Bobby, 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 Bobby Schmurder, right? Mm -hmm. My problem is not really Bobby. Mm -hmm. My problem is the people that he put in his songs. The fact that they were in a video and no one said nigga. No. <laughs> no one said, yo, no. you can't say Let that. Me tell you <laughs> yo, if I was like, yo, Barksdale caught a body by the wicked, you'd be like, what? Yeah. What the fuck is you? Yo, for the yo, record, Barksdale did not catch a body about a week ago. Yo, that nigga caught a body about a week ago. <laughs> I'm just keeping this shit. I'm just keeping this shit real. Like, I blame every, with the Bobby Smurder shit, I blame everybody. Including Bobby Schmurder. Because when you recorded it and you decided that you was gonna put it on YouTube, no one tapped Bobby Smurder was like, yo, bro, you should probably take that shit out of the A Rod. And then they was like, yo, but why son? I'm kicking real shit. Nigga, yeah. And we're gonna go to jail. 
But what? But is it okay? Did they make it okay if say Raja re- retweeted it? Bro, all I know <laughs> is is Rasha was in the courtroom <laughs> and said to the judge, "I have a daughter. Can I get some leniency on my time?" And the judge was like. You thought a short. You should have thought about that before you pulled the trigger. <laughs> should have thought about that a Bob, week ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, do my listen, man. Motherfuckers got roofed because Bobby Smurda wanted to keep it real, and just like Dave Chappelle said, when keeping it real goes wrong, and that's where it went wrong. And so Takashi, you out here with the icky uh, <laughs> sticky got the blicky uh, yeah. Now you in jail ratting. So if my by way King Erna snatched his honor, if by any chance he gets mm-hmm. out of it, oh he's getting out of it. He's getting out of it like uh like Ray Liotta and Goodfellas. Do, do you think pointing things out? Yeah, he are like, we are we at a point in our society where he's still going to have a career? No, he can't do nothing but hide. <laughs> like he gonna have to get all his tattoos removed. He in witness protection, bro. Takashi right now is like. Peyton Manning at the line of scrimmage. He's the mic. Omaha, Omaha. <laughs> He's pointing niggas out. He's <laughs> pointing them all out. Watch him, watch him. <laughs> Omaha. 50, yo, you watch how all these niggas go to jail. And they ain't going to be able to spend all that money they stole from him, huh? Trayway Shotty already booked. That's 2.23 of the shit already. Uh, gaffled from the Mexican. I wonder if real Mexicans like feel slighted by Takashi. Says so not like, yo, we 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 would have held you down. We, we protect you, SA. This is fucking dope. <laughs> fucking mm. MS13 or something. Oh well, it'd be uh, listen. Yo, for, can we cut that out? What the MS13? I heard them niggas real. Okay, they are. I just don't want them to come for me. What the fuck did you say? You said it. All right then. Ain't I don't want them to come out. <laughs> Yo, Icky, ah, uh, Icky. Oh my! Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> rats, bro. That motherfucker is a rat. <sighs> oh my! Fifty-five to Mike. <laughs> Pointing niggas right out. Peyton Manning, them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady, them niggas. You know how my boy Tom Brady do part. Yeah, watch him. Watch the Sam. <laughs> Pointing niggas right out, bro. Whatever, bro. Just don't point me out. I wasn't there, Takashi. Yeah, what, what, what was they doing to that little nigga? <laughs> they kidnapped his mom. Yeah, they just broke in bro, this little nigga. They kidnapped the nigga <laughs> and took like 800,000 or 100,000 worth of jewels from him and then called him like, yeah, son, we just rescued you from your, from your would-be attackers. You good? Knowing goddamn well. That dumb niggas was the niggas that was like, yo, Shmishmashi live right here. Let's just run in there and grip his little Mexican ass up right now and, and hold him for ransom. That gotta be sad. I mean, that's a sad life to live with the niggas around you, the one doing you dirty. You know what that's called? I'm gonna steal this word right from Philadelphia. Shout out Philadelphia for this good slang. That's called too much dicky. <laughs> to cause me out here. Just Dicky in gang life, <laughs> Dicky in African American, and this is what the Dicky and got you. Robbed, kidnapped, mama have robbed, mama house shot up, beat up in the jail, witness protection, Peyton man and all your co defendants in the courtroom. You the star witness now for Dicky and <laughs> I just wanna say a disclaimer. Stop Dicky. Mexicans are okay with us. Uh, that, this is my disclaimer. For everybody, I don't care if you white, purple, black, blue, or Asian. Stop dicky and 